Good morning. It's July 20th. I uh, just wanted to say that uh, there's some other life lessons that I wanted to quickly talk about. The first being what you are accountable to and what's your purpose. So your first being your responsibility and who you're accountable to. I feel that um, whatever you align yourself with, uh, whether it's your beliefs, um, your integrity, your higher power, those are the things that have to be at the core of who you are. And that's somebody that you have to stay true to. Now that's the only person that you have to be accountable to as well. So putting those all together, um, you can only and always have to take responsibility for your actions and your choices. Uh, meaning that everything that's happened to you to this point has been a result of the choices that you've made in the past. Yes, I do understand that things have happened to you uh, growing up. You have your past experiences. Now, you will take those experiences and uh, depending on what you do with them, uh, the way that you respond to um, what has happened in your previous life is going to determine how your future is going to be. Now, with the goals that you have set for yourself, you'll have a different set of experiences and things that uh, you feel your purpose is, that your higher power has, has instilled in you regarding your gifts, regarding um, the things that you feel deep down inside that you need to pursue, and those things don't need to be neglected. Now, if you do end up neglecting and pushing those down, um, it does expend a lot of energy when you're looking to pursue and, and reach your capacity. Um, now, you can't take responsibility for other people's actions, and I know it's very difficult to try and have the mindset of you're always responsible for everything that happens in your life. That's very difficult. But um, other people being in mind, you can't control other people, and that's something that you kind of have to let go and in regards to your responding to things that happen to you, especially negative in life. Be sure that when you have those positive, even small um, achievements and goals that you accomplish, that you celebrate them. It's the, it's the small things that get the ball rolling to the larger. I remember back uh, about three years ago, I hadn't been able to run more than five miles ever in my life. Uh, one day I just decided, hey, today's the day, let's go ahead and try a five mile run. Uh, the week later I did seven miles and then ended up deciding that uh, with the help of a couple of my friends that I would go ahead and sign up for the Maui Marathon. So half marathon later, uh, which was exhausting, and then I came here to Lake Chelan and did the Chelan Man half marathon. Ended up doing very well, uh, achieving my, my goal of time and knowing, knowing that I could possibly get to the Maui Marathon um, at the end. I ended up finishing the Maui Marathon and going on to uh, a larger thing. So, But you need to celebrate those successes because they'll lead you to the higher achievements that you're looking to accomplish. And you don't even know what those are until you get to those points in, in your road of the life. Of life. Um, so keep an open mind, stay true to your purpose, and, and be responsible and accountable to yourself in alignment with who your higher being is and, and who you actually stand for. Thank you.